Hello YouTube, in this video we're going to have the player shoot lasers using the instantiate node and then we're also going to destroy the lasers using the trigger to denode. Let's go ahead and get started. First we're going to grab the green laser from the sprites folder, drag it into the hierarchy, and we'll rename it to player laser. And then we're going to add a tag called player laser. And we'll assign it back to the game object. And we're going to add some components. A box collider 2D trigger. And a rigid body 2D with a gravity scale of zero, just like before. And then a flow script controller. Create new, click bound. Alright, in the canvas, we're going to search for a rigid body 2D so we can set the velocity. And we could create a variable, but in this case, I'll just set a hard coded value of 10 for the Y. And we want to do this on start. And connect it to the set velocity node. Drag it over. Let's test it. Looks good. All right. Let's go ahead and create a prefabs folder Call it prefabs. All right, if I click on the player laser and go to canvas, notice that it says bound in the red text. And now if I drag the player laser into the prefabs folder, go to canvas, you'll notice that it says bound prefab instance. And if I click on the prefab itself, it says bound prefab asset. So you have to be careful when you're using the canvas, make sure you're editing the correct object. I just wanted to point that out. And I'll go ahead and drag the player over to the prefabs folder as well. And I always make a habit to click on apply whenever I make any changes, just to make sure it goes back to the prefab. Actually, let's reset the transform position of the laser and click apply again. Then we can delete the object. All right, in player, I wanted to show you something with instantiate. If we just search for instantiate, you get several options. So if I choose the one with a transform, keep an eye on the parent. When I click play, the parent disappears, which is not what I want. Let's delete that node. Whenever I want to instantiate a game object with a parent transform, I'll just do it manually by going to Functions, Implemented, Unity, and I just choose Instantiate. And now when I click on Play, you'll see that the parent stays there. Alright, so that's what we'll be using. So I'm going to add a game object variable, which I'm going to call me. And I'll drag the player game object into the value slot. And now I'll choose to get that variable and drag it into both position and parent. Now if I click on the instantiate node and next to the original slot, if I click on that circle, I can look for a laser and choose the one with the dark background. And now I'm going to look for input button. It defaults to fire one, which happens to be the left mouse button. I'll just keep that for now. And if I click on play, you'll see that I'm able to shoot lasers. And they are appearing under my player, which keeps it nice and clean. All right, now I'm going to create a new game object called Shredder, which will destroy the player lasers that collide with it. I'm going to add a box collider 2D. I'm going to reset the position, move it up above the screen a little bit. And I'll drag out the size of the box collider. Right now I'm going to create a new flow script controller. Create new, click bound. 
And I'm going to search for trigger and choose trigger 2D. And the other port is for the game object that's colliding with our shredder, so we'll, we'll want to use that. So if I drag out of the other port and search for compare, I want to compare tag. And if we look back at the player laser prefab, we can check its tag, which is player laser. Let's go ahead and type that into the compare tag box. And next we want a switch condition, which is just like an if statement. And we'll drag the value of compare tag into the condition. And if it's true, we want to destroy the game object. So let's look for destroy. Drag true into the node and then drag other into the object. And then we'll drag enter into the switch condition to activate it. And click play. You can see the lasers are being destroyed. All right, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll create some enemies that will also shoot lasers themselves. So hope to see you then.